Coming up, turn any song into a ringtone. It's time for Hands on Mac. Hands on Mac comes to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? LastPass can ensure they are by making access and authentication seamless. Whether they're working in the office or remotely, visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This is Twit. This episode of Hands on Mac is brought to you by Roman. Get ED medication discreetly delivered to your front door. Go to getroman.com slash H-O-M for a free online visit and free two-day shipping. The other day on the radio show, a woman called in and said, how can I make a ringtone on my iPhone? And it took me a little while, and I mentioned GarageBand. But, you know, the truth is it's actually pretty easy. If you have a Mac, this is how you do it. Any song you have on, I almost said iTunes, and in the old days it was, but it's now the Apple Music app, which is essentially iTunes. Any song you have in your Apple Music app can be turned into a ringtone, unless it's copy protected, but most of them won't be by now. Um, I have a few that might be pretty appropriate. So here's what I'm going to do. First, I do want to change some of the settings in music to make sure I'm importing it in a format that my iPhone can understand. To do that, I go to Preferences under the Music menu, and I'm going to select the Files tab there. And then you see this button, Import Settings. By the way, this has moved from where it was in iTunes. So uh, just uh, a warning I'm now using Catalina, the latest version of OS X, at least until Big Sur comes out. And uh, under Catalina, we don't have iTunes anymore. We do it all uh, with separate applications. So I'm in the Apple Music app. In, in uh, iTunes, I believe it was under the General tab. But you're looking for that button there that says Import Settings. That actually is the quality of the encoder, the quality of the music you're going to encode. And you see it has a variety of encoders. It can do... Uh, AAC, which is the standard iTunes format. When you buy a song on iTunes, it comes in the AAC format. But there's also AIFF, which is the Apple equivalent of a WAV file, an uncompressed bit stream of uh, music. There's Apple Lossless, which is compressed, but without any loss of data. There's MP3, we all know that. And there even is a support for Windows Wave files. But in this case, I want to use the AAC encoder. That's what the iPhone expects. And I want to choose high quality 128 kilobits. iTunes music comes in a higher quality these days. It's actually uh, 128 bits kilobits for mono, but for stereo, it's double that bit rate. And it's VBR. We don't want that for the iPhone. We want to make it as, qual as uh, compatible as possible. So we're going to use in our import settings, AAC encoder and high quality 128 kilobits. And I'll show you why we need that next. So I'm going to click OK and set that preference. Now it's time to choose uh, some music that I want. And I presume that you have a song that you're interested in. Songs that uh, are, make good ringtones usually have really good intros. Unless there's a middle part that you particularly like, there's ZZ Top's LaGrange. <laughs> that has a great intro. Uh, there are a lot of songs, but I'm going to do something that I won't get uh, taken down on YouTube for, which is something that we own. How about, I suppose I could do the theme to this show, um, or my Tech Guy theme, or how about this one? This is a song somebody wrote for us some time ago called Doing the Twit. This is amazing. That's a pretty good ringtone. You want something that's going to cut through ambient noise, but not annoy people. The Who's Baba O'Reilly would make a good one. Uh, here's our theme from my old show in Canada, the lab theme. That has a pretty good start, the tech guy's theme. Pick something that you, you like the beginning of. But here's the good news. It doesn't have to be. The beginning, and here's where we pick which part of the song we're going to use. Right click on the song and select Get Info, and in the info box that pops up, lots of information about the song, but under Options, you're going to find the key. So here's where I can choose uh, the kind of media. That's not going to help me, it's music, the start and the stop. 
Now, if you know you just want the beginning, you can take as long as 40 seconds for a phone ringtone. You can take 30 seconds for other kinds of alert sounds on your iPhone. Uh, let's just take the first uh, 40 seconds. Zero, 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 colon, 40. That's going to be the first 40 seconds of the song. But again, if you want a different chunk of it, you can use, you know, different settings in here. I'm going to say OK. So now we're only going to have 40 seconds of that song. We're going to select the song. Remember, we've set the beginning and the end. And now we're going to go to music, or I'm sorry, file and convert. Let me zoom in on this. Using the convert entry from the file menu, we can create a new version, an AAC 128-bit version of that song. And it'll show up as a duplicate in the same place as the other one did. So here's the original. And notice the duplicate's easy to spot. It's 40 seconds long. There's one other thing we need to do, and that's rename the song. So I'm going to show this in the Finder. That just right-click on the song, pull out, show on Finder. That just opens a window to show where the song is on your hard drive. And we're going to keep that because that's important. You might want to rename this. It won't matter because it's the uh, information in the info box that the iPhone uses to name this, but I'm going to call it Twit Ringtone. That's not as important as the most important part of this, which is the extension. It's an M4A file right now. That's an AAC file. We're going to change it to M4R. This doesn't do anything <laughs> to the file itself. It's exactly the same format as it was. We can even rename it M4A. It'll stay in M4A. But M4R is how Apple designates ringtones. Next step is very simple. We just drag it to our phone. I've connected my phone uh, to the computer via a cable. There it is, my iPhone 11. And as weird as this seems, all I have to do is take my new ringtone, there it is, Twit Ringtone M4R, and drag it into that window. You'll know something's going to happen because you see the plus box pop up. But it won't give you any warning, any alert. It just, that's it. It's done. What? Leo, that can't be it. Well, yeah, let's see. We're going to go to my iPhone now and see if it shows up uh, in my ringtones. So let's quickly take the iPhone, go to settings, go to sounds, and now my ringtone. And you see I have a new ringtone. That's the original name of the file. Notice it didn't change it to Twit Ringtone. That's just the file name on the hard drive. The file, the uh, ringtones takes its name for the info uh, on the file. And there's the ringtone. This is amazing. On my phone. So you can easily add ringtones from any song you own. You can make it any part of the song and as long as you want. If you've decided that you want to edit the song and make it uh, uh, 40 seconds from just this part or maybe combine two parts, then you might want to fire up GarageBand, which has the capability of editing those songs and turning them into ringtones, M4R files, and then copy it over to your phone. You can even do it in the phone with GarageBand in the phone. So that's how simple it is. You've already got the tools you need. You're going to have to do a little translation if you're not on Catalina yet, but I think you get the idea. Instead of music, use iTunes. The settings might be in a different spot. But essentially, you're going to follow the same process, which is change your import settings to AAC128. You're going to select a track you want to use as source. You're going to set the start and stop time. That's in the info options uh, on that track. Convert that file to an AAC version of the length you want, and then drag, rename that file to M4, M4R and drag it over your iPhone. You're done. You've got your new ringtone. It's one of those things that once you've done it, you go, well, that's nice. I don't need any special applications. I don't need to spend a buck fifty with my carrier for ringtones. But most people don't know it. Most people actually spend money and buy ringtones. That's a terrible idea. If you already own the song, just use it and make a ringtone. It's perfectly legal. It's fine. And I'm glad we could show you how to do that. Our uh, show today is brought to you by my friends at Roman. Anyone who's dealt with erectile dysfunction knows it can be embarrassing to seek help. 
awkward to talk about it in person, even with a doctor. Roman connects you with a doctor, licensed in your state. You'll get discreet, professional care and genuine prescription medication or over-the-counter treatments delivered in unmarked packaging. If you're struggling with ED, stop the suffering. Stay home, but go to GetRoman.com slash H-O-M for your free online visit and free two-day shipping. That's GetRoman.com slash H-O-M for a free online visit and free two-day shipping. That's it for Hands On Mac. I'm Leo Laporte. Next week, I know a lot of you are interested in fonts. I got a lot of feedback on our last font episode. I'm going to show you a way to install fonts from the command line. Lots of fonts. That's coming up next Friday on Hands On Mac. I'm Leo Laporte. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you then. Want more Twit? Well, check out Smart Tech Today. It's at twit.tv slash STT. It's the show where Matthew Casanelli and I cover everything there is to know about smart tech tech, it's automation, it's connected devices, it's smart home, it's all those goodies and so much more. We get the news, we get the latest devices, we do reviews, everything. You gotta check it out. Twit.tv slash STT for Smart Tech Today.